Hi guys. Um, this is Joshua. It's December 6th. He's explaining. Jimmy Neutron, not Joshua. Okay. okay. So he's gonna explain to us. Potentially how this will work. I have no idea. Okay. But essentially, this is how it could work, for all I know. So this is a Darlington uh, transistor. And yeah, we're gonna try to solve it. So we have 0.7 volt. So moving through this line in series, we have 0.7 volt drop and 0.7 volt drop. So the voltage here is gonna be 18.6. So 18.6 because uh, 20, the source voltage. 20 minus, minus 0.7, 0 .7, 0 .7, 0 .7, 0 .7, yeah. Yeah. So we have here 18.6 volts. We can then divide that by 1,000. All right, listen, calculators in my pocket. Okay, so we have 18.6. 18.6 divided by 1,000 gives us 0 0.0186 amps. Okay, so current, so wait, wait, let me just break this down a second. So current's flowing this way, comes through here, you got your 20 volts, minus 0.7, comes through here, minus 0.7, yep. come up here, we got 18.6, yes. and we have our 1,000, you do your 18.6 divided by 1,000 kilo, is that, or just ohms? Just ohms. Okay, so 18, and then you get your amps. Yeah. So now we got our amps running through here. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. okay. That, so. That's our amps, right? Yeah. So, the beta is 100, so we'll just say, beta 100. Really shit, beta symbol, 100. And that's going to be the same for this transistor here as well. So the, both the bays are 100. So you'd expect it to be 10,000, but it's, we're going to be, it's going to work out to be a bit different. Mm -hmm. so, so we're going to multiply the current by 100 here. So this is going to be 1.86 amps. And then this is going to be 186, 186 volts. This okay. is obviously way above 20. So what this is going to amount to is this is going to have a voltage drop here of 0 0.1. 0 0.1. Shit. Uh, Which, if I will imagine, is just mm -hmm. going to be... This is like the source, kind of, into this one, so this is going to be 19.2. I take it'll be 19.2 volts. Sorry, so you say uh, it's saturated, which is 0.1. What, what you did after, exactly? So I concluded saturated based off the fact that when I multiplied this by 100, I got 1.86, then I multiplied it by our ohms of resistance right here. So this is our ohms. 100 ohms times 1.86 is 186 volts. Yeah. That's saturated. Yeah. Because that's way above this. Okay. Because that's how I'm going to break this Okay, when it's, when it's saturated. This is going to be 19.3 because okay. of, the, of this transistor. So okay. this is 19.3. So we have... 19.2 volts due to the 0.1 voltage drop here. So we have 19.2 volts, and we are going to then calculate what we're really need, looking at, looking for is our amps. So we have 19.2 volts divided by 100. That is going to be 0 0.192, I believe. But but how you did you get the 19.2 volt? Um, I got it from here. So I basically am saying that you have 20 comes through this resistor, and mm -hmm. then it's going to drop to 19.3, and then you have 19.3 oh. coming into the into here, so this would in a normal. It's gonna it's gonna drop another point seven. Yeah, gonna drop we, but, another but, point but, seven. but but it should be I think eighteen point. Uh... That's that's the thing. Like, if we were to, if this were to be structured like a normal transistor, you'd have twenty running into the emitter, and that yeah. then is going to be reduced by point one and then point seven. So if this were the twenty, this would be dropped to nineteen point three. Okay, okay. This would be dropped to okay, yeah, yeah. Max, I guess so. so. So twenty minus point seven minus point one. It's gonna give us 19.2. Yes. Okay. And 19.2 is then gonna be divided by 100 to give us our amps, which I believe is 0.192. Wait, okay. sorry. Is this, is this how every transistor works? So, if, so if it's you know, for example, we, we lost our 0.7 here, and if we're gonna go up this way, then it'll be 0.1 instead of another 0.7. Is that yes. how? There are always yeah. 0.1 going the other way. If you're gonna. Yeah. Just, if it's if it's saturated, yeah. it's gonna be 0.1 this way. If okay. it were for some reason below that yeah. point of saturation, this this value is gonna off. change. This 0.1. Okay. So if the voltage here is not say a 20 if this was 20 if this is not 20 uh not 20 volts 19.9 uh, volts and it's actually lower say 10 volts mm -hmm. your this value here this point one is actually 10 volts oh I so see. it changes so I it's see. like the difference that you're so if this point one here it's gonna be 19.9 here mm -hmm. this point five here is gonna be 19.5 okay mm. so it's just gonna change depending okay. on what your voltage value is here so amps is this is our amps right here by 100 192 milliamps this is going to combine with this to get our amps running through here. So, if we take 1.192 plus 0.0186, add them together, we get 2. Point, uh, that's incorrect. 0. 0.2106.
That's our amps through this line. So that again is going to multiply. So take our amps right here, multiply it by 100 due to our beta uh, right over here. This is also beta 100. All so, so these amps multiplied by 100 is going to give us the amps here? No. So what's going to happen is that we're going to add the amps here and the amps here. If you oh. remember our previous lessons, yeah. the, the emitter current is going to be the collector current plus the base current. Okay. So, and whatever is here is oh. going to be able to multiply Okay, by okay, okay, yeah. That's why the calculation that we have is slightly wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the beta here is 100 as well. Okay. Current here is 0.2106 amps. So we multiply that by 100. I took all my tools, I bought this sick ass piece of screwdriver set. Oh no, that is correct. So here it's 21.06 amps. If we multiply that by 10, that is 210.6. 210.6 volts, way over saturation. Yeah. So we're going to say, okay, this is 0.1. So this is our 20, we have 20 running in, so we're going to subtract 0.1, so this is 19.9 volts. And we have 10, 10 ohms of resistance. So essentially, our actual amps is going to be 1.99 amps. 19, because 19.9 .9 over 10 is going to give us 1.9, which makes this sense. Yeah. Yeah, so we have 19.9 .9 amps here. Well, 1.99 amps. That is going to be our. Yeah. My brain function. That's going to be our amps here, and that's going to be oversaturated. Yeah. So that is going to be our total amps, which is going to be much lower. Why? Why? why, why so in which case we say it's oversaturated? So we're saying it's oversaturated because if you take the current here, multiply it by 100, it gives us 21.06 amps, which is uh, over than the source. Yeah, way oh. higher than the source. Yeah. So we have 210.6. Way higher than twenty. So, so, so we we say so we say uh, oversaturated when the amps mo more than the source. Over when, the, when the, volts, the source. Yeah, the volts in this resistor is yeah. more than the volts there. Yeah. Yeah. Oversaturated. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. And then we use the point one volt drop here, subtract it from the mm. emitter voltage, and that gives us our nineteen point nine volts. Nice. And from there, what do we want to do? Okay. I'm gonna have to think about this for just a moment. I think there's another thing we can do. Maybe not. Oh yeah. So we can say what our maybe our effective beta is. So normally in this case, well depending on your transistor, this is subject to change. But we would say, oh, we have a beta of 100 times a beta of 100. So beta of 100, well, according to our calculations, beta should equal to 10,000. But in reality, like due to or the fact that we're oh, overflowing it, we're getting way too much voltage, we'd have to change all of our currents. Well, all our currents are all here, so change our resistors. We'd have to change a lot of things. So effectively, our beta that we end up actually like experiencing here, thanks to our oversaturation, is going to be our amps. Not our amps. It's going to be our full, full bottom. So we got our amps, yes. So we're, our initial amps are 0 .08, 0 0.08186. And we're going to divide our final amperage of 1.99 by it. So we only really end up experiencing 106. 106.99 times the current. That's the maximum that we experience. If you were to change the resistance values, you might be able to see up to 10,000 times the current gain. But in this case, we only get 106.99 times the current gain. So, uh, so how to define the um, the 1,000, the 10,000, the beta? It's the like 100 by 100. 100 by 100. But I can go over this again. This is also incorrect. This yeah. calculation is wrong. So if we were to just remove all the word, good erases. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna erase all of this. So this is irrelevant. This is irrelevant. The betas are relevant. I should not have erased that. But <laughs> the reason why our calculations are wrong is because if this were to be, say, one, this is one current, right? This has got a beta of 100, and then assuming that we're not uh, putting it too much through it, all these, we're not oh, putting a, uh, forgetting the words, but essentially, this, if this has got a current of one, 
Yeah. And this is going to be 100. We're going to say this has got an amperage of 100, right? So we have one amp here, 100 amps here. So when they combine back down, we have 101 amps, right? Yeah. Well, 101 amps. So when we then multiply it again, because 101 times, like base to, base to collector, is going to be 100 times. So the current through here is going to be this. Then you might realize that or beta is meant to be this number multiplied by this. What number multiplied by this number gives us this number? So the beta in reality is 10,100. Oh yeah, I have some lunch. So beta, in this case, is a bit different from what we expect. So the beta that we calculated... This will be in YouTube, guys. The beta we just calculated is actually this. Yeah. But our calculations in our book says it's, in fact, this, based off the beta of both. So the calculation gets us close, but not exact. And that's because when you add these currents together, the, the, the base current is going to be greater than what it truly is. Because what it's essentially saying in our calculation is you're multiplying this value, your, your uh, collector value for your first transistor, by the beta to get your final, which is not correct. Okay. I want this nice. video like 15 minutes. Yeah. Oh, 11, 11 minutes. Okay, do an outro. okay do an outro. thank you. Outro, thank you. Outro. Hmm? Do an outro. What? Outro. 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 Well, that is how you tackle.